Right, so this is the second half of my shopping. This is an Audi shop. As I said previously, I did have an Iceland delivery. Um, then when Danny was able to take me shopping, I said I was going to go either Lidl or Audi or somewhere else, mostly to get sort of fresh pieces and a few other bits that I didn't get. I must admit, um, I have a budget each week. It is quite a high budget for food. Um, I was £2 over for the two shops, but on the other hand, like the pizzas, they are like for three or four meals over three or four weeks if I don't have visitors. Like I said, if we was to have pizza once a week because I've got quite a few pizzas. And the same with the birds I um, sort of chicken I got like 10 items for 10 pound things like that I had a few offers so this is quite a lot of um, sort of well fairly um, fresh stuff dare I say um, just a couple of um, bits that weren't on my list but I usually allow for that um, obviously if my budget allows um, like this one um, my son wanted to check um, try this one I did have the chicken burgers which okay because sometimes I do put extra filling in but very often I do make them up myself but it's just um, convenience so this was one pound 39 for the quarter pounder um, beautiful butterleaf because we don't do Aldi um, there's some products um, I'd like to try um, obviously I I know you can taste different in certain products, and I've said this previously. So I've gone for the beautifully buttery, buttery, and that was ninety five p. Um, mature cheese um, was four pounds eighty eight. You might notice that realistically, some of the products are very similar, or. Um, the same as what I normally get. I've still got crisps from last week because we've done really well. This is 24 packets for £2.59. But because we went for um, a mixture of sort of plain cheese and onion, salt and vinegar, we've gone for like different um, actual crisps this time. Um, so we've got onion rings, cheese puffs, salt and vinegar sticks and the um, bacon rashers. So that's for 24 packets. I think the rolls are about the same. We did have wool burns. I had it at the back of my mind. I thought Aldi didn't do name brands, but I don't know if it's something they've always done or it's a recent thing. So these were £1.85 for 12 I froze um, most of the other rolls and we'll probably use half today and freeze the other half for packing up and everything. So I think they're about the same price between Lidl and Aldi. Um, we got the smoked British um, ham and that was, I think that was one pound, I can't really read that, one pound 99 I think that was. And then we've got the um, British corned beef, 89p, cooked beef, sorry, because my son fancied um, that. I understand they only have free range, I think, eggs at Aldi. So these were £2.69. Um, I don't know if anybody else is bothered what type of eggs they have. And these are the large ones. And because I've got some banana instant whip and I've got plenty of milk, um, I bought some bananas, 78 piece, so I tend to slice those up in with instant whip. Um, so that's those. The shaving gel, I think, is um, about the same, but this is a different make. This was 99 pence. And um, not sure if we've tried this make on the um, dip. This is a sour cream dip, but as you know, it can be up to £2.50. Um, for a leading brand and this was 89p so we thought we'd try that and as you know we're a great lover of tortilla chips these were 57p i'm not sure if this is the same quantity and daniel picked these up um yes this is where i went <laughs> If you can call it over budget by the two quid was because of um, Pringles, but these weren't bad. They're the full size ones, 185, 
gone are the days when you could get them for a pound and um these are the 185 because sometimes i think it's 160 um sometimes for the same price or more so we've got two cheese and onion and prawn crackers that's probably and this is our treat um when we're watching a movie or something because um especially with daniel now doing longer hours and back at work you know um sometimes he doesn't want to go out bless him so um we've got the orange juice now this is one pound 69 no, i like fresh orange juice but i have to be careful because obviously the natural sugar um i thought this was quite expensive um but we shall see if it's the orange juice and it tastes like fresh orange juice we got some orange juice i can't remember where it was from now whether it was iceland it said fresh orange juice but to tell you to when i was drinking it it just tasted like um ordinary orange juice if you know what i mean robinson's so i do like even if it's just a very tiny glass i do occasionally like my um fresh orange juice especially if you know i'm feeling under the weather or something milk was one pound i can't even read that my eyes are really bad one pound 20 i have got hospital appointment i've got a feeling it's gonna be um another injection again maybe laser treatment i don't know um but i have had a few really rough weeks i should say jaffa cakes raspberry 85p um maybe i could have got a better deal i don't know somewhere else but they are actually mcvitties so yeah potato salad this is a hit and miss with um, me and daniel 99p um some we like some we don't so I've just got a small one of that. I think the corned beef, I'm sure I pay something like £2.49. Maybe I've got this wrong. This is Bramwell's, which is a lot of Aldi make. Um, and this was £2.09. So I just got the one can. This is where one of the products where taste does tend to differ. I've got two different beans here. This one is definitely smaller. That was done on purpose. When we have beans on toast, yes, sometimes we like the bigger can. If I'm doing it with something else, sometimes we don't necessarily need a bigger can. So this was 42 pence and this was for the 420 grams. And this is the sensual range. And this one is for 410 for 28p. So, um, yeah, comment if you've actually tried the different beans, as I said um we mostly shop at little but we thought we'd try aldi it is the other side of going just outside of town actually but it's closer to us than actually going through town if that makes sense now this is the um x cola zx cola is that it says extreme um taste zero sugar we like the little one because it's very close i think to pepsi this is another one i don't dare say like coca-cola or dialect cola but we have picked this up previously and i have to be very careful because it has got um a slight bit of sugar in it even though it says um zero sugar i think it's very marginal but i have to be careful as the one from lidl it's not it says zero sugar and it's not got any extra sugar in it's got sweetness so we'll give that a go i think we might have tried it before but daniel said he would take that for sort of packing up he has a smaller bottle and i transfer it rather than because it's cheaper than cans and very cheaper than pepsi yeah i think i mentioned this before pepsi seems to have gone back to the old label these are 179 not the best deal i think the cheapest i've been getting is 165 but i've only we normally get more um sort of um diet pepsi whatever you like to call it whichever make you have um each week but i've still got some from um a previous week so i'm not too bad at the moment so i think that concludes it um realistically although i was two pound over budget with the two shops it's not really i would call it over budget because like i said some of the meals that i got from iceland are not for this week's shop they were part of a deal 
or deals and they can be lost over the next few weeks. Just take it into consideration, I presume, when I um, sort of um, do the following week's shop um, and see how that goes. But sometimes um, my freezer does get a bit low. It never used to get this low, but it's got low because I'm trying to use everything up and cut down on wastage, if any. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.